Oh my gosh, look at you. That is some beautiful bands in there. Wow. <laughs> Hey guys, so a uh, little bit of a bummer on this one. I am very happy Kate let me know, but <laughs> I was unaware that you needed a permit to uh, do certain types of videos in Yellowstone Park, so I'm gonna do my research and make sure that I'm actually like in the clear to post this stuff before I actually do that, so <laughs> uh, you'll hear me mentioning Yellowstone multiple times in the video. I'm gonna not I have to cut it out for this video, but I will most likely be posting the Yellowstone footage by itself after I figure out, you know, the rules and whatnot. So maybe look forward to that. Otherwise, just enjoyed this one. We still got into some amazing rock hunting outside of the park. Sucks to not be able to throw the Yellowstone footage in this one, but either way, we did awesome rock hunting before the park and after the park. So yeah, anyway, enjoy. Hey everybody, well this is cool. We are at a site that is well known for its calcite. And I could see why. <laughs> really nice golden calcite and we're literally like in a cave right now. And oh my gosh was that crawl steep. Hmm. Honey, you gotta stop. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Oh man, this is cool. Okay, Molly, you are kind of a liability right now. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh man, that's awesome. Having to overcome my claustrophobia a little bit, but hey, that's all part of the struggle. <laughs> hmm. Molly, it doesn't help that I have Molly tugging on me. You guys, this cave is so cool. <laughs> Bats. 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 Bats, yeah, the book literally by name mentions that bats live in these caves. So that's cool. Just found a nice cluster right here. That's pretty cool. So dark I'm having to hunt with my flashlight right now. I know that that GoPro does not handle low light very well so I figured I might as well just switch to the phone. Flashlight on. Just found a good one guys. That's super pretty. It's gonna clean up well. Cyrus is such a rock dog. He is having so much fun right now in this cave. I'm trying to... Oh, I see one. Is there a good one? I think so. Here, take these. Uh, oh, oh, you found some. Here. Alright guys, I think we're gonna start working our way back to the car. I'm gonna go down a little bit farther, see if I can find more, but... This is the first cave and it is pretty picked over and we still are going through Yellowstone today, so yeah. Probably can't waste too much time here. I'm gonna do this the smart way this time, I think, and pull out. Flashlight. Go ahead, Floyd. Go ahead. Follow Mama. All right, let's see. Oh man, I'm so... Where? <laughs> 
One sec, I'm coming down. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. One handed. Oh, I'm so sad. I forgot to bring my hammer up here. And a chisel, because we there were really, really, really big crystals that we <laughs> we had no way of getting out, so. Next time. Next time for sure. Sorry, I'm trying to finagle my way down. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy. I'm finding little shells. You should know that that would make me excited. <laughs> All right. I see a hill I want to get over to. And of course, this is like st stupidly steep, but yeah. We's gonna do it. We are gonna figure it out. All right, guys, we're heading back down. <laughs> Say, you are not good with open cliff faces or slopes I should say you might want to avoid this spot I'm fine with it but man if you were not good with this kind of terrain you would not be having fun right now that is so steep and loose there's like no footing <laughs> it's all good though all worth it for the rocks all right guys we got into some awesome stuff well, I'm excited to get these cleaned off, get some close-ups, but yeah, for now, sweet. on to Yellowstone. All right, everybody, we are out of the park, and I am at a spot where I, believe it or not, have actually found agates before. They're, well, that's way bigger than I thought it was. Sorry about the wind. They're actually still in their host rock, so it takes a bit of flipping over. Oh my gosh, look at how crystal clear that is. Oh, if only I had a Wyoming license, I would be fishing right now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty much just looking for there's all of these pegmatite rocks, which are not gonna house anything. It's these rocks right here that I usually find them in. Actually found some really nice ones, especially since they haven't eroded out yet. There's some interesting stuff to be found here. There's also a bunch of unikite and some really interesting quartz. Not quartz crystals, but hey. Still good, still fun to find. <laughs> so let's let's poke around for a little bit. Our trip is definitely coming to a close, so let's see if we can end it on an agate. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Is this wood wood or petrified wood? That is... That be wood wood. That is wood of the non-petrified variety. Oh, it's so pretty though. Oh, again, I wish I had a, a license. I'd be fishing right now. Well, that was a lot of fun. This trip was such a blast. Got into such awesome stuff. Such a huge variety of stuff. From agates to jasper to quartz crystals and a little bit of everything. So excited to start working with that. Um, you know, what's it called? Substone. <laughs> Whoa! What are you? That is crazy looking. Well, obviously I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Sorry I'm using my phone, guys. It just gets... It's better at low light, and it also is better at close-ups. GoPro has better image quality, but it does not get nearly as close. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful agate. Sweet. Look at those bands. Sweet. Okay. I told you. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look. Oh, man. Look at that beauty. That is a gorgeous Montana agate. Ooh, a little crystal pocket in there. 
It's it's pretty heavy. I've felt a lot of this conglomerate rock, and it's really, really, really light. So with how heavy this thing is, it's probably mostly agate. All right, guys, I've got that little beach left, and then I'm gonna head back to the car, but I just want to show you this. Beauty. <laughs> you know, this is kind of accurate, actually. Hilariously accurate. Ooh, it's got some nice moss in there. We started the trip with Montana agates, and now we're ending the trip with Montana agates. Oh my gosh. That looks like a good one. Ooh, it is. Really nice. Wow. That one doesn't even have any host rock on it. It's just entirely agate. Sweet. It's so cool seeing Montana agates at the source. <laughs> I mean, I know that they occur and erode into the river for miles and miles and miles and miles, but finding them like this is just so cool because there's been no time for river tumbling yet. Hey, there's another one. Oh my gosh, look at you. That is some beautiful bands in there. Wow. Oh gosh, okay, I'm super happy. Super happy we decided to stop. <sighs> what was I saying? I don't remember. I'm so tired, guys. It's been a long week. <laughs> oh my goodness. That looks like a nice one. Ooh, it is. Wow, that's an interesting egg. Got a little pocket of water right here that I can rinse it off with. Oh, that's a good one. And yeah, there's another nice one. Alrighty guys, I think with that, that ends our road trip series. I, it was awesome, so much fun. Cannot wait to start cleaning stuff up and showing you all. We got into amazing stuff and it was just such a blast. I had so much fun. I, think I just said that, but that should tell you how much fun I had. <laughs> such a huge range of places we went to. Oh my gosh! Wow, perfect timing, Mr. Osprey. I sure hope you can see him. Oh, well, thanks for interrupting my shot, buddy. Okay, anyway, <laughs> fittingly uh, and mind-blowingly, kind of cool way to end this series is uh, this morning I checked my channel and I had hit 3,000 subscribers. So you guys are amazing and I just cannot believe the support the channel's been getting lately. It's just, it humbles me every day and I will strive to continue to deliver with my new camera and another new one on the way very soon. It's gonna just keep getting better. I will keep branching out and go out to new places and yeah, try to keep the channel fresh as I possibly can, but I didn't do anything for 2,000 subscribers because I didn't react fast enough. So again, I will probably be doing a giveaway or a Q&A, something like that. Um, Soon-ish, I'll get more into details on that later, but yeah, absolutely don't think that this is the last episode though because there's going to be one more episode of this trip where we go through and review all of our finds and it is going to be an awesome one. I cannot wait to show you all. Yeah, on that note, I think that is going to do it for this one. Uh, if you think this video was worth a like, that definitely helps spread the video around so more people can potentially like it. <laughs> uh, hopefully this video was good enough to earn a subscription. Right now is a great time to subscribe because we've got some awesome stuff in the works. If you want an awesome place to share your finds and projects with fellow rock hounds, come join the Facebook group, look what I found, I'll have a link to that in the description. And if you would like to potentially own some of these finds for yourself, I'll have a link to my Etsy store in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this one, next one's going to be awesome, can't wait for it, and I will have another one out very very soon. Stay safe, I hope you all enjoyed.